Welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to look at customizing your keyboard shortcuts to make your editing much more efficient. So stay right there. Hey everyone, I have got this question a couple times on how to do keyboard customizations, and with the latest versions of DaVinci Resolve 15, They've completely revamped the whole keyboard customization system. Uh, I believe that was all in 15.2. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go to the DaVinci Resolve menu and go to keyboard customization. Now we get this box that pops up here with a virtual keyboard, shift, control, opt, and command, or this could be alt, uh, whatever, on Windows, it's going to look a little bit different. I'm on a Mac here, so I'm going to show you what it looks like here on a Mac, but all the same things apply. So what this is, we have different active keys over on the left. We have commands broken down by menus, and it's broken up by different panels, such as the project manager, media storage, edit media viewer, media pool, sound library, etc., and then on the right hand side, we have the different uh, commands with the keystroke that's assigned to it. And we can show all of them. We can show the assigned ones. Uh, if we get this little box here, it could be that there's a conflict with something. We can show all the unassigned ones. These are all the ones that we can take and assign a new key to that doesn't have a shortcut or the modified ones that we may have done ourselves or, or changed somehow. And we can search on different ones. So I'm gonna go here and go to show all. And one menu command that I use all the time is clip attributes. So I wanna see if there's something for clip. Whoops, let me type it in, right? Clip attributes. There it is. So do I want it on the edit timeline, the media pool, or the media storage? I'm only concerned about it on the edit timeline. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose something um, that's going to make sense to me. In my case, I'm going to use control C. That's it. I'm going to hit save. And if I go under uh, modified, I should be able to see that there. And that's going to be my custom one. So now I close this. If I select a clip and I go control C, I get my clip attributes. So this is a very, very, very handy feature to use. One that I use a lot. If I set an in and an out point and I hit command E, it appends to the end. So that's one that I use uh, quite a bit. Just makes my life easier. It kind of reminds me of Final Cut Pro being able to do that. And so I added that as a shortcut in the keyboard shortcuts. Let's go ahead and bring that back up again. So we can see what the command keys are, the alt keys are, and I, I can do them manually like this versus just typing it in. So now I'm gonna go and um, go to my unassigned and just to try and uh, add something here, if I do Command E, so that's already my edit to append to end of timeline. Do I, I want to assign this keystroke so I can assign it or cancel it? So if you don't know something that's already assigned and you try and assign something, you'll get a message like this. So I think that's very handy. Make sure that you don't overwrite something that you might want to use later on. So I, I think that's a really cool feature. So there isn't a whole lot else to this besides just uh, what you see here. You can assign function keys and uh, pretty much almost any key on your keyboard can be assigned to some kind of keyboard shortcut. So if there's something in here that you use quite a bit, create a shortcut key for it if you can remember what it is. Uh, some people have asked if there's a way of uh, printing this. Well, no, there, there really isn't, unfortunately. I mean, it would probably be kind of a mess, uh, but it would be nice if there was some way of, of printing it in some way. Now, out of the box, you have 
DaVinci Resolve key commands. But you can also choose one of the presets. So when I first started with DaVinci Resolve, I had just come from several years of using nothing but Final Cut Pro. So I selected the Apple Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard shortcut mappings. Uh, that kind of got me up to speed a lot quicker than trying to re find or remember what some of the DaVinci ones are. Over time, I got to know the DaVinci shortcuts and I stopped using that. The only one that I stuck with was the Command E to append to end, and that's why I have a custom keyboard here. If you're coming from Avid or Premiere Pro, this can be a big time savings for you to get up and running with the different keys. So you can save a preset, import a preset, export presets, uh, delete a preset. So what I did was once I created my shortcuts, uh, Command E is the only one I really use, so it's not a big deal to go to machine to machine and assign that. But if I had a bunch of them that I had modified, then I could come in, export the preset, go to my other machine, put it out on a flash drive or thumb drive or something, and import that preset so that I could always have that whole set with me wherever I go. So that is pretty much it for keyboard customizations. Like I said, you can play around with this and uh, really find the different things that you might want to use. And being able to group this by the commands or the different applications will make it a lot easier to find ones that you can use. Now, what's really cool about DaVinci Resolve is, you know, we have the different tabs at the bottom here, our media pool, our editor, fusion, the color tab, Fairlight tab, and deliver tab. So you can have a different, you can have the same shortcut key assigned to different things based on what tab you're on. So the two that I'm going to use the most are going to be similar, are going to be the edit tab and the color tab. So I can have different keyboard commands for different features on there. It may be command E on the edit to append to the timeline. I can use command E for a different shortcut on the color tab. So again, uh, just a lot of ways of customizing and being able to have tons and tons and tons of keyboard shortcuts. So hopefully this has been interesting for you and will help you to customize your keyboards for your maximum efficiency when it comes to editing and color grading with DaVinci Resolve. Again, this new keyboard customization feature is going to be in DaVinci Resolve 15.2 or newer. So anything 15.2 or above is going to have it. Below that, you're going to have the old style, which was very usable, but it wasn't as easy to get to, and it certainly wasn't as easy to customize. So everybody, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like these videos, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever there's a new video put out. Like and share this video with anyone that you think might find it useful. This has been Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.